In the last lesson, I demonstrated how you can display a list of all of your registered routes. But now let's take this a little bit further. We've created a resource for displaying lists. And an easy way to think about this is in terms of a task app. So you could create a list of to-dos, but unless you store them within specific lists, then you're essentially creating to-dos for one project. But maybe I want to have a list for personal. I want to have a list for work or a list for vacation. And then within each of those lists, we're going to have to-dos assigned. So maybe take a moment and think, how would you represent that within the URI? Well, we would have lists slash an ID to display one list. We would have lists slash ID slash edit to edit a list. But what about to view the tasks within the list? Well, maybe we would do lists and then the ID of the list or the name of the list and then tasks. And this URI would be responsible for displaying all tasks within the list with an ID of, say, one. All right, that's good. But what about viewing one specific task? Well, in that case, we would do lists, ID, task ID. And then subsequently, to edit a specific task, you would use that URI. So notice that we're just following a very specific pattern. And you could refer to this as maybe sub-resources, or some people would call them nested resources. So basically, it, we're just tacking on an additional layer. We have a resource for lists. Now we want to create another resource for tasks as a child, so to speak, of the list collection. How might we do that? Well, let's try out a few things first, and then I'll show you the official solution. Maybe you just want to do route resource tasks, maybe something like that. Again, we're going to ignore the controller. Of course, in a real world situation, you would have tasks controller. But for the purposes of this lesson, we are not concerned with that, so I'm going to ignore it. All right, let's run PHP Artisan Routes again. And we do get slash lists, but the only thing we've changed is we've added on a new resource for slash tasks. That's really not what we want. All right, maybe you want to do list slash tasks. Let's try it again. And if I zoom out just a few clicks, no, that's not quite what we want either. Here we're doing list slash tasks, but what you really want is lists slash the identifier for the list you want slash the tasks within that list. So here is the proper solution. We're gonna do list dot. We're gonna use this dot syntax. And that's going to tell Laravel that we're trying to create a sub resource or a nested resource. Let's run it one more time. And now notice how this has changed. And this is exactly what we want. So to view all tasks within one list, you would go to slash lists, slash the ID of the list, and then slash tasks. And again, you can note that the naming convention remains true, lists.tasks.index. So let's try this out in the browser to make sure everything works. But before we do that, let's create a couple resources just so we have an easy way to illustrate the result. So I'm going to generate a resource for the list, and then I'm gonna do one more for the tasks. Okay, so now if I switch over, you can see we have our tasks controller, our list controller. If I open up the model, we have our model representations for a list and a task. And within the views folder, we've created a list directory and a tasks directory. And of course, it's done a handful of other things. It's created our migration files. It's updated our database seeder. And it's also created some seed files if you want to go ahead and populate those tables. In this case, we're not interested in the database layer, so we're just going to stick with the controller. Let's begin with lists. So the index method of a list controller, because we are working restfully, should return all lists. So return all lists. Okay, let's run the server and see the output. PHP artisan serve. And sure enough, if I browse to slash lists, that's going to return all lists. Let's switch back, and now we want to go to show. This will be responsible for showing one list. Return show list with ID of, and then the ID. All right, let's try it now, and we're going to go to list slash one, and we get that. Now we want to view all of the tasks. So I'm going to switch over to tasks controller, and we're going to return all tasks. Let's browse to it now, list slash one slash tasks. Now in this case, we're going to get a not found HTTP exception. And that's because when we generated the route, 
Well, the generator didn't know that we were trying to create a nested resource, so it went ahead and appended these two lines for you automatically, but we need to adjust it slightly. First, we can get rid of the old resources that we created, and now I can update this to lists.tasks, and now each of them points to the necessary controller. If I run PHP Artisan Routes again, now you can see that that should work. All right, let's try it again. I will reload the page, and now notice that that is working. So once again, to display all lists, to display a list with an ID of one, maybe this is personal, or you could set it up to return the list maybe if it has a specific slug, like personal or work. But in this case, we'll stick with IDs. Now, if you want to display all of the tasks within this list, you would browse the slash tasks. And then finally, to view one specific task, you would use the show method, return task with ID of ID. Now, this is not actually right, but let's see, because this is surely going to confuse you at first. Let's keep it like that, though. Now, if we want to view the task with an ID of one, you'll see that works, but now let's try maybe the third ID. Ooh, now it's still saying one. How is that possible? Well, that's because it's picking up the first param. So if I switch back to PHP Artisan Routes, if we want to show a specific task, this is the route. Slash lists, and then a wildcard for the ID of the list, slash tasks, then the ID of the task. So that means two params are going to be passed through. So we could say list ID, task ID. Now we can say task ID within the list with an ID of list ID, just to give you an example of what you would do to query the database. Okay, let's go back and reload the page, and now it's working. Grab the task with an ID of three within the list with an ID of one. And this will certainly update for anything that you change. So that, in a nutshell, is nested resources. So the main thing that you need to take away is you use this dot notation. So what other ones might you do? Well, maybe when you're done with this video, can you set up a resource for displaying posts, like a blog post, and then also set up a nested resource that would allow you to display posts, the ID of the post, and then all of the comments associated with that post. See if you can figure out how to do that on your own.